Hello, you guys, and welcome back to Mochi Design. Today, we are going to do a very simple animation. It's for beginners. We're at full HD and 24 frame rates, and we're going to create the file here. And there's so many different things that you can do in Adobe Animate, and that's why I love it. And the design is very simple, so it works out. And so at the bottom here, there's all of these different frames, our second that you can add so that it can tell you exactly how long you want your animation to be. So I'm going to do about two seconds. I'm going to right click and hit insert frame. So now we have a full frame with nothing on it as of yet. There isn't any type of picture on here at all any type of keyframes and keyframes are when something changes it adds a keyframe. So we are going to do a heart, a simple heart here. And, and then we're going to change the color up a bit. And I'm going to show you how to switch things up so that you can have both sides looking very even, even in Adobe Animate. And so we're going to change it to a red heart. And if you control alt, you can get two sides of Th that are the same. If you control alt and then you drag, you can get it to duplicate, duplicate. So that is wonderful. And then we're also going to switch it up, switch up the size. So you go to transform and then flip horizontal. And so let's check to see how this is looking with those two sides. Uh, if you click something wrong, you can always can undo anything so I'm going to the corners and rotating it clicking and with the free transform tool on the left you'll see the toolbar and so it's looking a little bit like it needs some help to me <laughs> Like we need to change some things because it's not really closed. And so we have to make some changes to that. You can skew and reshape with the free transform tool. I definitely use the free transform tool more than most tools. It's very useful. So I'm getting a shape that I think would be better for this and seeing just trying different things out to see how i can make this look how i want it to look and if i find one of the sides looks better than the other side then i can duplicate that side and put everything together like that so i decided i wanted this left side it's more of a wider part and I'm just going to do what I did before. So as a recap, we're going to control alt and drag. Then we're going to flip and flip it horizontally. Then we're going to bring it together like this. Drag it to the middle here. And we're going to highlight everything, modify and group. So now it's grouped together as one shape. So what I'm looking to do here is just to make one kind of blacked out area of a heart. So the heart is not going to be complete. It's going to not, not going to be completely white, but we're going to use the paintbrush tool and put in the dark area here. And I'm just zooming into everything and also hitting properties on the right side and changing the size so that it'll be a little bit quicker than using a very thin pencil line or paintbrush line. 
So you're just going to fill it in here. I like to somewhat get the shape and then I can go over it and fill everything in or fill any missing areas as well. Then now that you get the outside all filled in, you can freely fill in the middle part as well. And we are going to highlight and touch the actual heart area. And we're just going to double click. And then now we have it clicked and then we can make the stroke bigger here. So that'll clean up the lines a little bit. I made it to 24. Then I'm going to erase the two little dots as well. I don't know when they were put in, but we'll erase that. Now we're going to put different things on each, every about every other frame. And then I'm going to change it a little bit later as well show you guys how to space things out. So I picked the paintbrush tool, but then I changed the shape of it because I wanted it to be longer than it is wide. I didn't want a circle. And just to make things go a little bit quicker because we're going to make it drip like rain, raining heart here. And so as you can see at the bottom, we are going to about every other frame and just adding some of these little droplets and just keep adding it's kind of what it's looking like so far and I'm making them random I didn't want them to look like a robot I wanted it to be more organic Here's what it's looking like so far, but we, uh, we still have some changes that we need to make. So clear, publish, and test movie. And so, so far this was looking like, but it's kind of looking like a little bit too fast. I want it to drip a little bit slower than what it's doing. So in order to do that, we're going to go to the bottom, see all the little black circles. We're going to drag them out and put some space between it. Because we wanted it to be two seconds and it doesn't need two seconds if it's going that fast. So we're just going to put some space between it here. Make it go a little bit slower. With the space that's time so this it's showing more time between each of the keyframes are the black where the black circles are in the timeline and so it's kind of looking like it's like filling up but i don't see much movement here so i kind of want to go through and remove certain parts of it or just so that it's looking a little bit more natural. So since this started dripping in that area already, then the next frame I'm going to just remove that. So I'm randomly removing certain parts of it. As you can see, I removed a part, but it wasn't on the exact same keyframe. So if you look at the bottom, there's that two circles done twice so I didn't want to do that so we're just going to go back we're going to remove that hit delete and then we're going to clear keyframe and then that stretches that last keyframe to fill up empty space there then like that little one at the end there I felt like it was a little bit too off so I'm just going to remove that I didn't like the way that looked. So 
deleting a couple of those little pieces. I decided that there was too many of them for me to delete. It's not going to show anyway because it's not on that white area. That's the stage area. So I decided to leave that alone and let's see what it's looking like so far. So now this is what it's looking like. I think it's cute. It's simple. And if you guys like, you can subscribe for more and have a great rest of your day today. Bye. Don't forget to save.